Now, babies, welcome back to the channel. Mm-hmm. It is now time for us to review Big Frida, the Queen Diva. Oh, yes. And guess what? We had a celebrity diva come through. Mm-hmm. I wonder who it is. Let's find out. So, babies, get ready. Season 5, Episode 3 of Big Frida. Let's go. It's Big Free the Queen Diva, your best to believe her. Girl, down. You already know, Frida. Girl, I'm a fucking breath gone. Who are, who is that? My wind gone, girl. It's all gone. Frida. I can't be doing that every week. I gotta change it up. I gotta just say, Frida. Mm hmm, girl. But let me first congratulate Big Frida. Oh, yes, baby. I see all that wedding planning you doing good. Are you stressed or no? Mm. I see them colors, girl. I see them colors. While you planning your wedding, just taste the rainbow. Get you a bag of Skittles. Preferably the dark side. Mm-hmm, girl. And just sit there and just write. Sit there and just spend money. Okay, girl, hopefully Devin can go be a trash man for a week or two, help you off with this sweat, because him playing that game, I'm not here for it. But let's get into this review. Oh, yes. So we have Devin and Big Frida going to Cassandra's house. Now, Cassandra is a wedding planner. Girl, what you do besides plan a wedding? Because you're living very well. I said, girl, who wedding you plan? What you, girl? Q house, Q house girl, Q house, and I can tell you got them bundles on their head. So they were sitting there discussing the wedding. And she was like, what colors do you like? Big Frida. Ask for the rainbow. I said, girl, are you serious? Devin went instantly into like, what the fuck mode? Devin was like, um, my boys do not want to be in the rainbow. Big Frida was like, girl, we can have each person in one solid color. And we can have the fellas with an umbrella twirling. When they come out, they can just hold the umbrella like this. And I guess make sure no raindrops hit my head. I said, girl, let me tell you something. Frida, New Orleans is infamous for umbrellas. I wonder how much umbrellas cost in New Orleans. They probably cost more than goddamn clothes. I'm just saying. Be naked with the umbrella. Don't tell nobody. So, the wet coordinator like, cute, okay, cute, cute, cute. And I'm just like, Frida, no. Frida, no, don't do it. Please don't do it. D -d mm. Look like My Little Pony. Ain't that what her man said? Devin said, it remind me of My Little Pony. Mm. I think Tootie will look real good with that greenish, bluish. I think Tootie will look real good because you know Tootie comes through. But Big Frida said, I don't give a damn what goes on. You just show up and show out. I'm doing the planning. She want ice sculptures. She want big tables for 500 gifts. And let me tell you something, Frida. You invited 500 people. If you get 500 gifts, girl, you let me know because I need to have friends like you. I invite 500 people. I probably get 10 gifts. I'm just saying. These hoes come with to-go bags and they take food with them. But let's move on. So she want all this and she want the dogs died. Girl, she want the poodle. To ride the rainbow. Girl, I said, stop, Frida. You doing too goddamn much. But I know damn well this way it's going to be fabulous. That's what hanging with Beyonce do. Hang with Beyonce one time. Next thing you know, you want to talk about he put a ring on it. Oh, yes, girl. Let's move on. So... Flash and Melvin. You know, Flash is Frida's backup dancer and Melvin's her manager. They're in the park running, girl. They didn't pull it over. They seen the park area and they out here running. Because I knew they was not playing for this running track stuff because Melvin had a whole goddamn sweater on. I said, the producers was running out of track meet. I said, what happened? And he got a little Flash just running. And I said, okay. Okay, I see Melvin got this old Genix sweater on, but in reality, Melvin came through because Flash was homeless. Flash said, Melvin, can I 
come move with you. Can I get off this park bench? You know what I'm saying? And I guess the park bench is infamous for people. Like, like they be on the park bench. I think one of these hoes on the YouTube was on the park bench. Correct me if I'm wrong. You, <laughs> bitch, was my bitch on the park bench for real, for real, or no? You know y'all be throwing shade and everything. But let's move on. Mm, let's move on. So, Flash asks, can he move with him? Melvin says yes. Baby, I have never seen a young man that excited in a long time. That boy started kicking his legs up and was like, yippee. I said, what happened? Girl, to the point where he didn't left Melvin in the dust. Flash said, whoosh. I said, girl, you must have rolled the rainbow. I said, that rainbow and took your ass fall. But the colors will coordinate with all her people here. Her dances are colorful. Mm -hmm. Them hoes is colorful. I'm just saying. So I'm happy that he let that boy come stay with him. So let's move on. So Frida and Devin, they at the house chilling. And Devin's playing the game. I don't like people over 18, 19 playing the game. Hell, 16 in my book. Ain't no motherfucking men in my house. We've got them playing no game all day. I just don't play that. But um, his penis was poking through the pants, y'all. Go back and look. On the, his penis was coming through the pants. I know why Frida. Lord, this a wedding. I'm telling you, Devin penis was somebody right there. He, he had to yank it down. Don't tell nobody. And I don't know what minute it was, but go through. When they first was in that room, when he played that game, and Frida grabbed the game and made Melvin die on Mortal Kombat 3. Mm-hmm. So, Frida tells him my gift to you for basically asking me to marry you. I guess that's what this gift is a return. Like, I don't know why Frida's giving this bitch a gift. I guess it could be a wedding gift. But Frida say, I want to go to the studio and do a song with you. You've been walking around the house for about two, three years rapping. I'm like, for real? You know what I'm saying? Inspiration, Frida. Yes, you is, girl. And I said, um... You gonna put him on a track? And she was like, yeah. He was so grateful. When I tell you, baby, baby, he was like, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. That man really loved Frida. I don't give a damn how much infidelity happened in the past. He loved her. He loved her. He loved her. Mm. Yes. He loves, mm-hmm. You my body and I'm your client. He was like, king and queen takeover. I said, mm, takeover for the 2016. Because since Beyonce and Jay-Z has sat down for a little bit, I guess they going to come take over. You know what I'm saying? I guess Beyonce told her she can take over for a little bit while her and Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, chill out on the resort. So then we got Frida, Uncle Percy, and Devin in the kitchen chilling. You know what I'm saying? We're actually cooking a pot of chili. You know what I'm saying? Cooking a pot of chili with some cornbread and collard greens. Yes. And a little salad. The telephone rings. And let me tell you. It was Beyonce. Now, I don't know if it was Beyonce at this present moment when the phone was like... Because you know how they be doing... They got to react and stuff. They got to go back and be like, Beyonce called me at home, so we're going to put it on the show. They do that. So I don't know if that was real, and I don't think it was real, because that was, I know, Beyonce reaction. Mm -mm. They should have captured her real moment. And now, uh, okay, if Beyonce really called, because it could have been a producer that called, like a manager that called. Like, Beyonce calling people like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But that would not Beyonce on that phone, because the reaction was not Beyonce. But Devin, oh money hungry ass Devin, baby, over there, ear like, is it really Beyonce? He proud of Frida. He like, my bitch doing big things. This is my baby. This is my heart. You know what I'm saying? I'll kill a motherfucker over Frida. Literally. And you already know, after getting that phone call, Big Frida wasn't hungry no more. Mm-mm. Bowl of chili got cold as hell. Froze over. Waiting on them goddamn lyrics. That beat. Drop the beat, beat. Hey, drop the beat, beat. So, I totally understand you, Devin. You can go from Chili to Hot Chili. Because I don't know. Y'all got bills, bitch. You're not going to get no. You're not going to change the hamburger meat. You're going to stay with that beef, but you're going to. I'm just saying, girl, no shade. You got bills. 
Okay. Mm. Flash and Melvin. Flash is knocking at Melvin's door. Let me in. Let me in. Because you know Flash is moving in with Melvin. Flash into the home with one suitcase and one box. Melvin act like he didn't know what was going on. And I was thinking to myself, baby, you've been around this boy for years. You know damn well he's struggling, okay? So let's not front and stunt for the camera, but we're going to do it one time, okay? I'll let it pass. So they was going through the rules of the house. Melvin just told Flash, respect my home. Mm-hmm. Don't have strangers in my house. If you do, let me know who they are because I don't want to be caught in my drawers. I said, calling your who, your drawers, your underwears, your thongs? Girl, I wish you would. He said, I just want to know. And the Flash was like, okay, cool. It's so it's cool that I have company over. He was like, I don't care. Just let me know. I was like, that's what's up. But don't forget, take that trash out on Wednesday. Motherfucker, run out there like, I mean, just zoom. Your name is Flash. Because in a minute, you're going to have all these goddamn rainbows on your head, ho. In a way, you're going to be flashed the fuck up. Like, you might as well poof, run to the car. But that was cute. I was really, I'm so happy that Melvin done that. Like, through all the boy, the BS that we talked, the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? That right there was touching. I was like, bitch, you going to almost cry. But I didn't. I didn't. I, I just didn't. I, I just didn't. So let's move along. But they they at home, okay? He home. They in the studios with Manny Fresh. The infamous Manny Fresh. The one that was working with Nelly, Lil Wayne back in the day. My man, my man, Manny Fresh. Yes, him. So Big Frida and Devin's in the studio, girl. About to drop that gift. That gift track. And the gift tracks goes a little something like this. I'm his body and that my cloud. I ride that dick uh, all the time. I said, Bonnie, a cloud. I, I said, girls, you said to stop. So that was all cute. Many Fresh respected Big Frida's in her relationship. And I was like, that is what's up. Because you got to be strong. Not only are you gay, you're a gay black motherfucking male. So that is mm, very difficult. If you don't understand, follow me now. It's hard out here in America being a gay black male. You know, it's hard. You get this called this, you get called that, you get stereotyped, but bitch, they walking around making coins. So ching ching, you my body and I your Clyde. Ride the dick. I'm just saying, girl, and it's raining too. Ride that dick in the rain. Ride that dick in the snow, girl. Ride that dick in the heat. Ride that dick on the bus, girl. Oh, free to ride that dick in the Uber. So that was all cute. They're going to start dropping that beat. They're going to drop the beat. They're going to drop the beat. But my whole thing is, Devin, if you get big, are you going to always be loyal? Mm, you know how hoes get that check. Mm, be leaving. She ride that dick like a motorbike. Oh, my God. Bitch, when you said she ride that dick like a motorbike, I said... Devin, is free to ride your dick like a motorbike. Ride your dick like a tricycle. Which one? You let me know down below, Devin, because I'm going to say it again. You putting a ring on it, bitch. Why you putting a ring on it, Devin? Why? Why you putting a ring on it? I want to know. Mm, let me know, baby. Is it for a check? Or you really love my bitch? Because Katie read them now. Katie read them now. Okay? Katie read them now. So, they was up in there. He took a deep breath. The track came out nice. They're going to fix. Let's move along. We got Katie Red, Frida, and Miss T. They relaxing, having drinks, and some hole in the wall downtown. I ain't nothing wrong with the hole in the wall, girl, because you know got the best liquor, and you know get you fucked up. They be pouring heavy, heavy. The hands be heavy because them hoes be down there hurting. They go all the tip. Mm-hmm. So, they chilling. Miss Thickalicious got a shirt line. And when I heard about a shirt line, I was like, oh my God. You ain't no bigger than the rest of us, bitch, getting shirts. You know, I'm just saying, girl, that's why I don't be wanting them wishing for fame all the time because, bitch, bitch out here fucking stressed the fuck out and only got shirts, bitch. No, hell the fuck no. 
If you only doing shirts, bitch, and you on TV, bitch, something wrong with you, honey. We on motherfucking cell phones with shirts, bitch. I'm just saying. So, Miss Nicolicious, I will not be ordering a shirt from you. But that's cute. So, Katie Red and like, girl, what's new with you? And Big Frida, like, I want to tell him about Beyonce. Mm -hmm. It was like a little bubble, you know what I'm saying, above the head. And then she just busts out and was like, eyes get married. These hoes were so fake. Like, congratulations. Katie Red, just last season, you was that same hoe telling everybody that this man was out here fucking on all the hoes in no law. I'm just saying, you was that same hoe that said, girl, he with some fat bitch down the street. So, when people... Tell you they about to get married just because they on TV and shit. And you doing all that faking them. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch them because y'all just told that hoe the truth. You be careful. Be careful, baby. Are you ready? Are you ready for them problems? <laughs> problems. So, they like for real. Big Freddy goes in to say, this man loves me. Which is true. I believe he do love you. He loves me. He holds me. He carries me around in the public on a tricycle, girl. You know, ride that dick like a tricycle, girl. And he reminds me of my mother, the bond we have. Now, I said, hold on, bitch, back on on up. When she said that, I said, now, Big Frida, don't have a circle that's so small. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a bitch circle be small as a motherfucker. That bitch knock out one hole. Where, where's the Sinobi? Me, no, no. These holes be knocked out one by one, but... I don't want your circle to be so goddamn small where you just be like Devin, 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 Devin. And you be like not understanding that Devin, 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 Devin is a snake. But I don't know, bitch. You know, they got that pipe. I seen that pipe in that bed. So if you was going to be a snake, going to be crawling through, I understand. I seen that pipe, baby. Let me quit being nasty. Hopefully your holes ain't touched it. So that was cute. You know what I'm saying? Then we got Flash. Flash is in the house. Melvin's house in the bedroom, this big, big red dog, big Clifford the red dog bedroom. It's red everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Ho, if you didn't like red, you like red now with your homeless ass. So he calls his grandmother. His grandmother did not know who the hell this boy was. She said, I think I remember you. I think. Now, this is the grandmother on his daddy's side. Now, I was a little confused. I was like, baby, you just keep on. Who the hell you know? I was a lot even confused. I was pissed off because I'm like, last season you was looking for your mama, then you like your daddy, your brothers, and come on. Come on. I mean, just the family just said, fuck you. And I, like, come the fuck on. You out here really struggling. Good thing Frida did come through for you, gave you a house and a home, and got you on this TV show and giving you a lot of chances to make a check because I'm seeing how big Frida got y'all cut out a lot of, mm-hmm. Parts because Big Frida had a lot of interest and a lot of inserts on this clip. So, you hoes could get out them checks. She had to pay some outsiders. So, she had to cut y'all out for one or two, three scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how it had to happen, girl. I think allegedly, bitch. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad that you are on these scenes. You called this lady. She didn't know who you was. Y'all went into who your daddy was. She said... I know your daddy. I raised your daddy till he was 15 years old or almost 15. And then when he was 15, he came back with me till he was 20. Flash goes on to say what happened. She said he was shot. He went to the liquor store at the corner and was shot. I cannot even look down that block no more. I don't blame you, baby. I do not blame you. But at the same damn time, you as the grandmother, you didn't know this child. So I might have. One time, he like, I love you, Grandma. So desperate for love and attention from family. Mm-hmm. From family. And it baffled me how people be out here, bikers clubs and all these sister clubs, brotherhood clubs, and they swear they love them more than family. This boy is seeking love from family, okay? Now they got them biker, a friend. You better follow me now. But so I was like, that was real cute. I, I, I was I was down with that. I almost cried again. Like, uh, don't cry. Don't cry. So let's go to the studio. We in the studio now. And this is Big Frida with the nine second beat that Beyonce sent over. Whole nine seconds. I thought it was seven. Frida said nine whole. Could have been seven, nine, under ten. Girl. 
Girl, Beyonce, you a stangy bitch. You a scandalous, stangy bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't claim that beehive shit. You send me three seconds of a goddamn track talking about, got me talking about, he goes, he should go, I come to slay bitches. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I come from collard greens and cornbread. Mm-hmm. Girl. Beyonce could at least sent you 30 seconds. But yo DJ with his gay ass. Now I'm just saying, did he get married or something to some pussy last month or last season or last week or last year? I don't know. But when when y'all see this shit, y'all for real, for real. Tell me am I wrong. The the um the DJ was talking about. Oh yes, girl, I got your message. Beyonce, yes, bitch, let's go. And I said, if that didn't sound like something a hoe like me would say, girl, shoot the people. Shoot the people. Freely got them hoes over there. And turning left and right, bitch. Yes. They want to be just like Freedom. I want to be just like you, mama. I want to be just like you, daddy. Mm. If his wife seen that goddamn scene, she know her man gay. She know her man gay. But babies, wait till next week. The song get dropped, and Big Frida is happy about to fall to her knees. Mm-hmm. Well, you can say her, him, Big Frida don't give a fuck what she told us. Like she said earlier, she said, you can say yes, sir, or yes, ma'am, and I will answer. So I'm like, ho, you answer to everybody. You always going to be answered, okay? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Hey, dear. Nigga, shut the fuck up. So, babies, that was our review for Big Frida. Ooh, I'm going to try my best to get it in the description box for y'all to watch. Mm -hmm. So, y'all just have to watch me. Just watching me is not giving you all the details. And I know some of my babies don't got cable. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. But y'all use y'all data to watch us, so I will try my best to get that down there so you can waste some more data on Big Freedom and it's a way because it's getting better and better. Big Freedom is honestly taking over Nolo. Nolo babies. All that yaka yaka. Mm-mm. Y'all better watch Big Freedom on Fuse Network. Every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Central Time. Oh yes. And ZT said it.